This afternoon today, Governor Pat McCrory conceded with a video statement. That the majority of our citizens have spoken, and we now should do everything we can to support the 75th governor of North Carolina, Roy Cooper. The McCrory administration team will assist in every way to help the new administration make a smooth transition. The concession comes as the Durham County Board of Elections finishes its recount. We'll go live to Durham in just a moment, but first, team coverage of reaction of, gov of the governor's announcement. And we begin with political reporter Bo Minnick, who is live at the governor's mansion. Bo? Sean, the concession comes nearly a month after the election, and it comes after election protests were filed across the state in counties all across North Carolina alleging possible voter fraud. Now, the McCrory campaign said that if a recount was granted in Durham and that it showed no significant difference, then at that point he would concede to Cooper, and that is what's happened here. So. Now Governor-elect Roy Cooper can focus in on his transition. It seems like he's been pro progressing on his transition really since the day after the election day. I mean, he's had a site up for a while. He's been accepting applications. He's named his team. I think he's got plenty of time. And the good news about Roy Cooper being in government is he has a lot of connections. And Cooper previously named Ken Udy of Raleigh Communications firm Capstrat as the executive director of his transition. He has a more than 10,000 vote lead over the governor, and that's in a race where more than 4.5 million people voted in North Carolina. Now, earlier today, Cooper did release a statement saying that being governor of North Carolina will be the honor of his life to serve North Carolina. Ahead at 530, how those election protests that I mentioned earlier, how they could still play a significant role next year. Live in Raleigh, Bo Minnick, CBS, North Carolina. Bo, thank you. Now, the question many have is, did the controversial law called HB2 cost Governor Pat McCrory a second term? That's exactly what voters we talked to say happened. The so-called bathroom bill ignited a firestorm of protests, but the objection to it went well beyond the streets. The state lost high-profile sporting events as the NCAA and ACC pulled out. CEOs of several businesses joined together, saying it was costing investment in the state, and companies like PayPal canceled expansions as a result of HB2. Today, we wanted to go outside the Beltline and went to Harnett County, the town of Dunn, where many voters told us HB2 did hurt Governor McCrory. I think um, McCrory, you know, pushing through House Bill 2 probably put him under. Um, you know, I think Roy Cooper uh, got a lot of traction um, with many moderates as well as most millennials like myself, um, who otherwise would have probably voted for McCrory. The HB2, you know, all the money we've lost, you know, you know, that was the main thing, you know, the money we lost, you know. I think that hurt a lot. The HB2 thing um, hurt him a lot. No. Well, which I can understand what he stood for on that, but it cost a lot of jobs.